actually the last paper that uh, was published, which is just a few days ago, um, explains how these antineuronal antibodies are biomarkers in basal ganglion encephalitis. And it's taken 20 years of work uh, for us to get to the point that we felt comfortable saying that Sydenham Korean pandas were a type of basal ganglion encephalitis in this group of, of four autoantibodies and their functional signaling assay uh, actually detect um, uh, detect basal ganglion encephalitis in children. Um, and these antibodies go directly to the basal ganglia in animal models uh, where we actually express the genes for these antibodies from humans in mice. Uh, they go straight to the basal ganglia and attack neurons. Neurons become um, bind the antibodies and become full of the antibodies. Uh, so the neurons um, are not able to function uh, in these diseases. One of the important things from our study was that um, as we began to look at the data, um, we began to realize that all of our normal controls uh, had no uh, CAM kinase activation uh, in their assays. When you place the normal sera on the human neuronal cells, uh, there is no activation above baseline uh, or above basal levels uh, in the normals. But in the in the uh, disease, you can see very readily that the CAM kinase is activated. And everyone may be wondering, you know, what's the importance of the uh, CAM kinase, this long named molecule, the calcium calmodulin dependent protein kinase two uh, is just a mouthful, but uh, this molecule is really important because it actually leads to tyrosine hydroxylase, which is the uh, hallmark of all dopaminergic neurons. And then that enzyme leads to the production of dopamine and the release of dopamine eventually occurs. And so if you have antibodies that bind to cells and activate the CAM kinase, then they may be making, the cells will be making potentially too much dopamine. And then in situations where there are antibodies that sensitize the receptors, uh, both of those situations lead to altered behaviors and uh, changes in the whole central uh, dopamine system. I think the important thing of this last study that's published is that there are biomarkers for basal ganglion encephalitis finally, and that uh, these are important to use in their entirety because one antibody is not going to be enough. The five pieces to the panel are so important in uh, indicating disease because in some cases there may be only one, uh, one of the panel that will be positive. And so it is, it's really crucial that uh, all four autoantibodies and the uh, CAM kinase be performed uh, in order to be certain uh, about the um, diagnosis.